What's up guys, Pwn here, and today we're going to do a review on the Nerf Doomlands Persuader. I'm here with my friend Helen, and she actually received the gift of Nerf from yours truly. Now Helen often comes to my monthly Nerf battles that I have in my house, and invariably when she shows up, I will eventually get shot in the face, which is why you should always wear eye protection. Not only does it help protect your face, but it makes you look damn cool. So we got the blaster and four Doomland starts. There weren't any instructions in the box. We're going to be comparing the Persuader to the Hammer Shot. And the four Victory. When we got this out of the box, one of the first things I noticed was that when it's primed, the trigger pull is pretty tough. Compared to the hammer shot, which feels like almost no pressure at all, and the four victory, which is still very smooth. Now this could be just because it's a new blaster, but this hammer shot has seen very little use. When I put my hands on the handle someplace where it feels comfortable, my thumb has a hard time reaching the hammer, and when I choke up to get to the hammer, my middle finger actually runs into the trigger guard, and it's not very comfortable. Comparing this hammer shot spring to the one that's inside the Persuader, this one looks a little bit smaller, so it's pretty likely that the spring is more similar to a four victory spring. It's got a tack rail on the top, and it's got a sling mount on the bottom. The sling mount is cool, but it gets in my way when I'm trying to finger flip it, and that's not cool. Moving on to aesthetics. I really like the vertical roll of barrels. It looks cool, and they've made it compact enough, but you still get four shots. Looking at the blaster from the side, it looks very thin, but this is actually very large, and the big chunk of plastic actually makes it look kind of cheap. One thing I really like about the Doomlands blasters is that you can see the internal mechanics, and this has a good example of that. Another thing I really like about the Doomlands blasters overall is that the color scheme almost matches. The zombies don't work at all. The Elite is okay, but this one almost looks good, and I like that. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing how this performs on the chronograph. Well, let's do it. Here comes the chrono. using shots fired just from the top barrel. Alright Helen, now if you had to pick between these three blasters, which one would it be? The hammer shot. It's my favorite. Now the hammer shot is kind of on another tier of nerf guns, but they're around the same price, so I definitely think they can be compared. Alright, now 1 out of 10, what would you rate this? Maybe a 5? It shoots. It doesn't shoot easily. 5 out of 10. It shoots. Given the name of this blaster, I was hoping to be more persuaded by it, but honestly, I found it a little lacking. And now, for the firing demonstration. So for velocity, we're giving it a 9 out of 10. It fires your standard 60 FPS, and just like the 4 Victory, if you're just firing out of the top barrel, it jumps it up to a 64. Pretty standard. As for comfort and ergonomics, giving it a 4 out of 10. I really don't like this handle. Your middle finger is either running into the trigger guard, or you can't reach the hammer. Either way you slice it, this is not a comfortable grip. As for functionality, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. As you saw in the firing demonstration, Helen was having a difficult time priming the blaster, as well as firing it with one hand. And I think with a pistol, especially a pistol with a hammer, being able to fire it with one hand is very important. As for functional value, it is a fairly inexpensive blaster. It fires at a decent velocity and it holds four darts. So I'd give it a five out of 10. Aesthetic value, I'd give a six out of 10. I really like the front of the blaster. If you could cut the front off 
and attach it to, I don't know, a hammer shot, that would be phenomenal. Taking note again, if you flip this thing around, no paint. On the other side, this nerf is painted as well as the word persuader. Helen gave it a 5 out of 10. And if we average out all those scores, it gives us a 6 out of 10. Not doing so great, Doomlands. All right, Helen. Well, thanks for helping me review the blaster. Yeah, definitely. I had a great time playing with it. <laughs> and remember, it's, it's not, not about, about having fun. fun. It's about how pretty your blaster looks. And how hard you wreck your friends. All right, well, now you know what I think about the Persuader, and you know what Helen thinks, but I want to know what you think. Leave a comment down below in the comment section with what you would rate the Persuader.